Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in and welcome to Boutonniere Palooza. Today I'm putting together four different styles of boutonnieres. I'm gonna start with a traditional boutonniere, just the one flower, the rose there, a little bit of baby's breath, <clears throat> some greenery too. I trim off the bottom of the stem so it's not too bulky. I'm trying to keep that uh, tail that will be left behind nice and um, cylinder and just not lumpy so you don't see that on the uh, lapel of the, the suit jacket. And also I'm sticking with one blossom, trying to keep it a little bit smaller so we don't cross that line into making it a corsage. I will cover all my mechanics with the wax floral tape and I'll put a link in the description of uh, where you can purchase these on um, Amazon. I'm using both the dark green. It also comes in a lighter green and I'm gonna be using a brown as well too. Uh, so I'm just covering up my mechanics nicely there. Uh, for the stem of the boutonnieres, I usually measure about three to four fingers long. Make sure that end is covered so that no wires are poking out. And then, of course, get the boutonniere pin. This next corsage is just going to be all greenery. I have some Dusty Miller, Spiral euc Eucalyptus, and some Asparagus Fern. And then to add a little bit of color, so if, if the groom does not want a flower, they want something a little bit more low-key you can do this greenery um, and then to add in the colors of the wedding you can wrap the stem in uh, double face satin or any type of ribbon there just to give it a little bit of that color if you want to tie everybody together sometimes the groom would be a different colored stem wrap or the only one with a stem wrap on it and then the groomsman could be a different colored ribbon on the stem wrap or just regular wax floral tape um, and not, no color on there. I do recommend for boutonnieres using a sturdy flower or just doing greenery. The groom is going to be hugged a lot throughout the night and that flower, that boutonniere is going to end up smashed um, by the end of the night. Remember from, from my wedding, uh, the boutonnieres were a disaster. I did all fresh flowers. Um, but I, I would recommend just using like a greenery. The groom might appreciate it too because it's not so uh, floral, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, and then here for the stem wrap, once I uh, wrapped all the wires together, it was very thin. I need something a little bit thicker to grab hold that wire. So I just double over my, my stem. And then I'm going to measure about two and a half ribbons length, just kind of eyeballing it here to wrap down the, the stem. And I start at the top, hold it in the back, and then I'll make an L and then just wrap it right up the stem, keeping a consistent spacing between each overlap of the wrap there. And to tie it off at the top, you can either use like a hot glue um, which is just fine with, well, you could probably use a hot glue on some of the greenery too, but especially with artificial flowers, you can hot glue it. I like to take a boutonniere pen and I'll uh, just snip it down to size and then push it right through the ribbon and that should hold nice and tight as well. And you can follow it up with some glue. You could do both if you want and then just trim the edge and then you've got a little bit of color with some greenery. It's going to hold up really well and it's not too big on the, on the groom or the groomsman. And then here's another style, a little bit more creative. I'm just using the seeds from the seeded eucalyptus. I'm going to snip off some leaves. Uh, when I was prepping these leaves, I decided to keep the bundle two together. That was a big mistake. So if you have the chance and the time, I would make sure to wire everything individually. It just gives you more play and it keeps from being frustrated, I guess. Uh, so what I'm doing right now is again, referencing back to my own wedding. I had some hypericum berries and then I gave it a little creative uh, flair by adding um, a ring of, it was actually covered wire, which you'll see here too, that I just twisted into almost like a mini little uh, wreath to put behind it. So just, you know, something that's not going to stand out too much, but it gives a little bit of a creative flair. And I mean, you can do with it however you want. If you want to add like just a little bit of, uh, almost make it like a branches behind it, you can do that too. 
So what I'm using to make this little wreath is I had these pine cones on a wire and the pine cones come off really easily, but I, I love the wire that's covered in uh, kind of a brown wrap on it, but it almost looks like honeysuckle or some type of uh, grapevine. So I'm gonna knot it up a little bit more, give it a little bit more um, character, wrap it around my hands a few times, give it some twists and turns. So I have just a, a vague outline of a, of a wreath here. Um, not too big, trying to keep it still a little bit small and making sure that no wires are poking through because you don't want to hurt the people wearing the flowers or the people that are being hugged. <laughs> and I'll give that a wire so I can hang on to it. Again, I'm wrapping uh, everything that you see here with the brown stem wrap, trying to keep it really neutral. Because I didn't wrap those uh, leaves individually, I did end up on the struggle bus trying to put this together. But just giving it a little um, a little depth by keeping the two sprigs of uh, cedar eucalyptus at different lengths. One of the eucalyptus is eucalypti. I don't know how to say it. Had a had a bit of a blush color to it, so I put that one lower than the one that was uh, white. Um, and then I'll just wrap all that together. And another way to end off the boutonniere stem is to give it a little bit of a twist. So I'm gonna make sure that um, all the wires are wrapped nice and tight all the way down. And I'm gonna give it a clip here, but just a little bit longer than, than usual so that I can give the boutonniere a twist so it goes up to that um, about three to four fingers from the, from the base. And I'm just using, you can use a pencil, a pen. I happen to have a screwdriver close to me, which is weird, but um, I just use that to wrap the tail. It gives it a little bit of a twist. Again, a little bit more of a creative flair, just a little bit more interest on that. And here's the fourth sample. This works really well with uh, winter greenery. Just doing a few sprigs of this pine here. This one happened to be covered with some sparkles, which was kind of pretty and just very simple wrapping them together and then if you want to add a little bit of color into the boutonniere to tie in the whole wedding party just do a couple of loops and i'm going to tie them nice and tight with some wire and then i'm going to work that wire in between the two and then tie the wire to the whole boutonniere so it stays on nice and tight kind of gives a a, a nice grab to the the loops to um, allowing them to kind of push out and really stand out against that greenery. Cover up all your mechanics and then just give it a clip at the end and make sure that's nice and uh, covered so that the wires aren't going to poke anybody. And there you go. So all these can be translated into fresh flowers too. Um, same principles apply, uh, but there you go. Thank you for watching.